programmable looper. Uh, this one has five loops and it has soft touch switches as you can see here. Uh, normal mode first, soft touch, okay. Uh, that Those switches are rated at about a million cycles so pretty much you got a lifetime switch in a lifetime looper. These are built in an uh, aluminum case, uh, strong, built like a, built like a tank. Uh, and it is also 100% true bypass. And to prove it to you, uh, right here we have a clean sound. And I'm going to take the power off. And the signal is still going right through the looper, so that proves to you that it's 100% true bypass. Uh, one more thing, it uh, it will also remember all settings so when you turn it off. Uh, boom. Then you turn it back on. It go it'll go right back to where you left it. Whether it's in normal mode or program mode, it will remember all your presets, all your settings. Another useful feature for those of you that often play live. Is for example you're in program mode and you are your priest number one. You have a, your wa and then that's for the beginning of the song and then for the verses and the chorus you use just an overdrive and a delay. And let's say you you want to do a solo in the middle of the song and it's uh, the the boost. It's not uh, on your preset. Well, all you gotta do is just with this looper, it's just press that button, your, your sound still does not change, you're still the same sound and in this mode it copies from your preset everything that was on and then you can add a boost and, and, uh, and then you can just go back to your preset as you were before so that's very useful when you're playing live and then uh, you know your set changes or your song changes or whatnot and uh, you don't have presets prepared for that uh, you can just punch in and out effects as you like using this feature okay okay so how do I use this looper very easy to program it you just come here and press and hold the mode switch okay and it'll start, it'll start uh, blinking so in this in this mode, it's asking you uh, which loop you want on. So I'm gonna say I want my uh, one of a drive, two of a drives, okay? And then you press and hold again, and it's gonna ask you which preset do you want it. So I'm gonna say I want it on preset number four. Boom, and it saves on preset number four. Okay, now I want to talk to you about a unique feature that this looper has, uh, which is the LED indication system. Um, th this this looper, for example, where you're in preset mode, and then let's say you are in preset number one, preset number one, and how do you know which pedals are on? Well, if you see this LED blinking here and it's blinking fast, it means it's telling you that this preset is on and this loop is also on. In this loop we have we have a raw. Okay. Uh, let's say I want to go to preset number two. Okay, preset number two, uh, that light is blinking fast again, so it's telling you that you are on preset number two and this loop is also on, which is a Jekyll and High, an overdrive and a delay. Okay. And let's say you want to go to preset number four. Now preset number four has loop two and loop three on, but loop four is not on. That's why that light it's blinking slow. Okay, uh, it's telling you that the preset number four it's on, but the loop number four is not on. That's why it's blinking slow. So whether you are in normal mode with uh, uh, a light overdrive. And uh, delay, you just boom, master bypass, go back to your clean, or you're in program mode and you one of your program has your two overdrives together. And then boom, you bypass them all just like that. And that's just telling you that um, uh, the this is the last preset that you were on, that's why it's still blinking, but it's bypassed as you can see. Okay?